Oh, oh. Found his sweet spot. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Excited. Yeah. Okay. Major pain. Okay, but it's done. Hazards. I don't really know what the plan is. Not working. Had an amazing idea. Quite a mess, actually. Woohoo! Hello. The mud is back with a vengeance after almost an inch of rain. Yeah, ladies, I know. Oh my gosh. Is it spring yet? Is the silage gone yet? No, it's not. Once the silage is gone, which it hopefully will be in the next couple weeks, then we will work on... <laughs> We will work on getting these cows out to some pasture that hopefully will be greening up even more now with some rain and the warm temps. So, I'm ready. I'm as ready as they are. And so is Lawrence. He is not going to want me to get in the tractor with my boots this dirty. <laughs> Puddle to wash off in. Oh, oh! <laughs> golly! Okay, that took me by surprise. <laughs> Look at that. I stepped in a hole up to very deep. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, golly. Whoa, he said, whoa. Buddy, look at your pretty braids. I like that, sis. Yeah. He's starting to shed out. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Austin has found his sweet spot. <laughs> Does that tickle? Does it feel good? I don't know if he likes it or not, but he's definitely got a reaction. I just mentioned this on Instagram too, but um. I know if you've been watching a couple weeks ago, it hasn't been two weeks yet. It's been like a week and a few days. Treated all the horses for uh, ticks. Fly and tick. It's supposed to help with ticks. Um, maybe it is helping. Maybe it's helping, but we just pulled a ton of ticks off of all of them. They're not as bad on Hank, which makes sense because Hank is in this contained uh, area that doesn't have all the tall grass that the other horses are out in. So they have more up under their, uh, up under their armpits and under their flank. Um, and it's so frustrating that there is not something out there on the market for horses like there is for dogs and cats, for ticks. <laughs> I'm really frustrated about it. Um, if you were around last summer, that's what we lost our, we lost her heart horse little man to Lyme disease and anyway it's just frustrating why am I crying because I'm passionate and I'm upset about this <laughs> I just want to be able to treat them and would pay whatever I need to pay and use whatever I need to use if we knew of something so if you have ideas if you have things that you've used that work I'm all ears open to suggestions <laughs> and it's supper time and I have no idea what I'm cooking for supper y'all and this is how I roll so many days. I had a pound of hamburger thawed out. I'm adding onion to it and um, hopefully by the time it's done cooking I'll figure something out. Welcome to my life. Okay this is what I came up with. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I pulled out this cookbook from a sweet lady I grew up in church with, Miss Joyce Powell. And she made her own cookbook and she is the best cook ever. So this is her easy taco pie. I did not have tomato sauce. 
So I substituted tomato soup. <laughs> I've done that before. I'm hoping it works. And it also called for Jiffy, Jiffy cornbread mix. I grew up on Jiffy mix. I have not made or bought Jiffy mix in years. So I just use my regular, <laughs> my regular cornbread mix. And I added a little sugar because I know Jiffy mix is sweet. And then um, the egg and the milk and put it on top. This is different than any taco pie I've made. So I'll let you know what the people think. All right, another day, y'all. Did I did I finish up talking about that supper I made last night? It was good. It was good. I I'm really bad about that sometimes. Anyway, new day. Um, today's gonna be fun. This morning's gonna be fun. We're heading over to the old dairy where we had silage, and uh, we are going to clean it up. We haven't done that yet, so we need to get the plastic up and all the tires i know it's gonna be a wet mess i mean it's on concrete so that part's good but i know that the tires are gonna be full of water and um yeah we gotta change the bucket put a bucket on the tractor and then we gotta get the flatbed so we can get the tires anyway it's gonna be a fun little process isn't it sis excited We gotta take our spear off. All right, this is our Mac Daddy bucket <laughs> that we got for the four wheel drive. It's so big. to get on that reminds me of the um it's like lining up the head trying to get the header on the gleaner major pain okay but it's done i'm glad you helped with that wesley i would have gotten very frustrated probably to get the water out very much. Oh. Don't do that again. I, <laughs> I got splashed, but not that bad. Last one. Well, we got more down there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got... <laughs> I got wet, too. But, uh, not nearly as bad as Lawrence did. Good job, kids. We threw them up there. Austin stacked them. Just a few more. Uh, yeah, just a few. Good job, team. Good job. Not done yet. Oh, yeah, we got to get the plastic. Okay. We got that done, though. Huh? Where? 
I think that's it. because it's got so much silage on it. We can't pick it up. Uh, I'm, I'm saying we need to cut it, but he's not agreeing so far. <laughs> bring the back over here and use the little forked tongue what do you call it bucket okay please stay the crank hand. <laughs> Good job. Oh, wow. Missed. Alright, now to unload. Uh, I wish we could just leave the trailer. <laughs> it's all stacked so pretty. Okay, Lawrence had an amazing idea. He's going to get the tractor and push everything off. And we think that is great. Great. Oh man, I missed all the good stuff. I was up there talking with the kids. You wanna do the last two? One a piece. Let's roll it off. all the things we hooked up. <laughs> trying to uh, hook and unhook equipment. I don't know which one is a little more frustrating. I I'm close to saying equipment. Y'all, it's already wasp. The house, I raised the windows. <laughs> Our windows are uh, something. They're something else. Let me tell you. Anyway, um, I raised them, um, a couple of them, to let the air come through the screens because it was just a little stuffy this morning. But there are flies galore. Wasps are out. 
the wood boards are out in full swing. Yeah. I think spring is here. And I also noticed this morning that it looks like in the backyard, my weeds are going to need mowing soon. Wow. How quickly it comes. Even though in the middle of winter, it feels like it's never coming. Here it is. Oh, look what we got, y'all. Uh, six foot bush hog and a disc. New to us. Obviously not new. <laughs> Welcome home. Pieces of equipment. All right, now we're finally gonna feed, but we've got all this plastic that's fallen down. And he seems to think I can possibly help with it. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's very heavy, y'all. It's very heavy when it gets all bunched up. We'll see. Oh. This is this is quite a mess, actually. If you want to know the truth of the matter. This is so deep, y'all. Um We'll see. I think this is going to take a little while, y'all. Oh my gosh. He just, oh no, no. I was going to say he got it. It looks like it wants to fall back down. Yeah. It's better than it was. Okay, I got the fun job of cutting, cutting the plastic. Ah. Uh, so it was easier to get a hold of. I don't know. This is the stuff. Uh, it's like a heavier duty canvas type. Not canvas, but I don't know what it is. We reuse that every year. The plastic we rebuy. We buy. We buy. Give me a big thumbs up. So, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, supper is served and eaten, <laughs> done. It is a beautiful evening and I decided to go for a walk and I'm really trying to do more of this. Trying to get out after supper because it seems like before supper, after waking up and before supper, everything's just a blur. <laughs> but I'm really um, trying to be a lot more, what's the word, um, aware of how I'm spending my time. I'm spending less time online and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm really not. And this is part of it. So. We're going to enjoy our evening and this beautiful, beautiful weather. And I'm staying out of the mud as much as possible. See if I can do this. Come on. This one's all. Where the hell are this one's like stuck. Yeah, I got the other one. I got the first one by myself. I need some oil. I need some coal oil. No, I feel better. Okay. 
We've already fed silage this morning. We only had to feed one group because the other group did not clean up. So now we are gonna get these <laughs> new to us pieces of equipment unloaded. Looking for a strap. I do not see a strap. Imagine that. Oh my gosh, I hit my head on everything every time. Found it, found it. I'm serious, y'all. I have the hardest time with this hard head. Okay. The sun is shining, but um, it's a little cooler today. <laughs> the way the weather keeps changing. Ah, I can't, I'm holding this. Um, I just, my body cannot acclimate from 70 to 50 <laughs> to 40s. I think it's supposed to get back in the 20s soon one morning. I hope that is it. I hope that's the last, uh, the last freeze. It's not going to help. It's not going to help the grass situation if we get another freeze. Uh, I hope, I hope they're wrong. Oh, this is annoying. Wind is annoying. It's supposed to be super windy later today too, like 20, 40 mile an hour gust again. It's like, uh, it's like we're in Nebraska. It's not North Carolina. <laughs> Got it. Alrighty. I don't know where he's going with it. day we have spent the majority of the day up at our hunt club with the group of hunters um, and their families we don't get to do this very often ever <laughs> families came up we had a big oyster roast and everybody brought side dishes and it was just really good so um, we are we came home for a little bit and the, we're going back and we're going back up there to eat some leftovers <laughs> and call it a good day and uh <laughs> we needed some crackers crackers for the oysters my kids eat oysters well wesley likes them austin doesn't love them but she'll eat one she'll eat one it's a consistent wesley and i and lawrence we can down some oysters all right we will see you next time until then Okay, just kidding, I'm not done yet. I'm almost done though. There's one more thing I wanna tell you about. So, a while back, almost a year and a half ago now, my friend Robbie Kroger with the nonprofit organization Blood Origins came here to the farm along with Jesse Phillips who did the videography and the photography and they interviewed me from my perspective as a non-hunter that supports hunting. That video production is now up and live on their YouTube channel, Blood Origins. I will put the link in the description, or you can just search out their YouTube channel on YouTube and you'll find my episode. I hope you'll watch it. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you can relate to any of my perspective and my story, please check that out. And now we'll see you next time.